The PC Henderson Pocket Door System is ideal for areas where space is at a premium, for example, en-suite bathrooms. The door neatly slides into the cavity wall to create a minimalistic finish. These systems are also available with simultaneous action, where double doors can be used as room dividers. This allows for open-plan living with flexibility, as the doors are completely concealed when opened. Suitable for wooden doors weighing up to 60 kilograms, a range of kits are available for different door sizes. Maximum door size 2315mm by 930mm by 44mm. The kit. Four galvanized steel wrapped softwood studs. One 280A track complete with header assembly. Two Husky 100 hangers. Two clip stops with adjustable retention. Two galvanized steel stud spacing brackets. Two steel stud support brackets. One fixings kit. Two hanger apron plates. One rubber buffer and screws. Guide and spanner. Handles kit. Tools required. Screwdriver. Allen key, spanners, hole cutter, spirit level, tape measure, drill. Fitting the hardware. Mark out the center point and required height at either side of the aperture. Mark out the position of the guide screws that will be used to locate the steel stud support brackets. Please refer to your kit instructions to determine these dimensions. Using the track and head assembly as a template, mark on the floor the position of the timber fascia with a pencil. This line is the position of the first stud insert bracket that will be used to construct and support your cavity frame. Mark out another area for the second stud insert bracket. This should be halfway between the areas reserved for the cavity. Mark out the position of the pilot holes and drill. Then screw the stud insert brackets into place. Assemble the hangers.
insert the first clip stop, then insert the hangers into the track, ensuring that the curved end faces the end of the track so they can engage with the clip stop. Put the last clip stop into the track. Using the guide screw fitted earlier, fit the head assembly brackets both left and right. You are now ready to hang the track head assembly on the brackets and secure with the screws provided. Use a spirit level to ensure this is level. Now all the brackets are in place, fit the uprights. Use a spirit level to ensure that these are straight. Then screw the uprights to the lintel assembly. Mark out the pilot holes for the position of the guide and drill. Fit the guide using the screws provided in the pack. We now need to prepare the door. Mark out the position of the apron plates. These should be positioned 160 millimeters from each end. Mark out the pilot holes and drill. Then screw the apron plate to the top of the door. Attach the door by connecting the apron plates with the hanger bolts. Ensure that the door is hanging at the correct height for your installation. For example, to suit the type of flooring. Once you are happy the system is running smoothly, Tighten up the locking nuts to finalize the height of the door. Screw the clip stops into their final position. This should be a firm hand tightness, but do not over tighten or force the screws. Screw the stop into the frame. This will prevent the door from hitting the wall. Mark out your desired position for the handle. Route a 48mm hole for the handle.
route out a position for the finger pull using a 25mm hole cutter. Ensure that this is higher or lower than the handle in order not to affect the structure of the door frame. This is used to retrieve your door from the cavity when it is fully concealed. You can use some adhesive to secure the finger pull. Additional accessories such as locks, handles, simultaneous action and soft stop are available for this system. Visit www.pchenderson.com for more information.